<laughs> okay. I just got in an accident. Now I bet you my bumper has a dent and my front axle's bad. <laughs> so let me guess. You're gonna pretend that you're in pain in hopes to get some sort of insurance claim. <laughs> and really, you were stopped in the turning lane. Hey, so you're are you to blame. Rapping? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you realize you just hit me. Yeah, okay, oh my license. god. What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're gonna break down Eminem. And I've always stated this, guys. I think that Eminem is a garbage rapper. I make music myself, and I know how hard it is to make music. I get it. Eminem is, as an artist, I, I think he does have some hit songs. But if we're talking about one of the greatest rappers of all time, you guys have to stop this. You have to stop it. The only reason why Eminem is so popular is because he's white. But the test is this, right? If you were to take away Eminem's white skin and just say like, okay, Eminem is just a black rapper. No one would listen to that garbage. Nobody. The only reason why people like Eminem is because he's white and he's okay at rapping. Get some gas. Get some gas. But now look at the numbers dropping so fast. Get ripped off like band-aids on a cut of a cash. While we sit here and struggle with cash, the government laughs. It's never this much in the past. Oh. It's like 60 cents per gallon. Damn. Now it's a buck and a half. <laughs> Put in a hundred and that's barely enough for my ass to get to my mother's and back. Makes me want to scream until my lungs are collapsed. Like the 40 year old virgin after his chest and his stomach got waxed. Till I collapse, I'm filling this gas up. Nicki Minaj is better than Eminem. There, I said it. Nicki Minaj is better than Eminem. There are so many better rappers than Eminem, it's insane. But I think a lot of people are prisoners of the moment and they're just, oh my God, Eminem, oh, and just meat riding him. And that's the thing which I don't understand because he's not, the coffee's hot, the, the door is locked. Bro, that shit is garbage. I've never, like honestly, I've been traveling the world. I've never sat down with any of my black friends I'm a <laughs> black friends. I say like I'm a white person, but I've never sat down with anybody, anybody that's black that have said that Eminem is one of the greatest of all time. Like we were in Africa in the ghetto, just hanging out. And I said, Hey guys, uh, let's, let's listen to some Eminem. And they say, turn that shit off. That shit is garbage. That shit is trash. Eminem is like a tourist guide. That's what he is. Oh, uh, now we're, this is the ghetto. I, I'm from the ghetto. Like, bruh, no. He's, if you notice in hip hop, Eminem is the only rapper that, that nobody ever wants a problem with, including myself, man. Eminem is like the most lyrically insane. Even when I was going at 50 and you know, and you know, me and Dre wasn't seeing eye to eye, man. I stayed away from the white dude. This is something which I thought was so stupid when I saw this interview. I thought this was so stupid because even back then I was like, Eminem is garbage. The test is just who listens to Eminem? I don't listen to Eminem. Do you listen to Eminem? If it was a black man, yes, he would be somewhere around wherever the game is, that's where he is. He's not better than 50 Cent. He's not better than Nicki Minaj. He's not better than Jay-Z. He's not better than Lupe Fiasco. He's not better than Kendrick. He's not better than Rakim. He's not better than LL Cool J. He's not better than Nas. He's not better than Tupac. He's not better than Biggie. The problem, I don't think it's a rapper he won't slay. And you don't even want a war with Eminem, you, you know. I used to think Eminem was better than me. Yeah. He not, he not. There we go. He's not. I'm not saying I want to smoke with Eminem. Yeah. I'm saying I want to smoke with Eminem, him and him. Since the early to mid 2000s, the name Eminem has been as synonymous with hip hop as Hulk Hogan was with wrestling, or yeah. Michael Jordan was with basketball. No, 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 stop it, stop it. Michael Jordan is on the Mount Rushmore of the greatest athletes of all time. Stop it. Let's not, no, don't even put him in the same breath as Michael Jordan. Don't do that. Jordan is, as they say, black Jesus. Don't, don't, 
ever compare anything that Eminem has ever done to Jordan. Let's let's stop that. As the best rapper of all time, his immovable position in the culture cache has meant that even after his prime, Eminem emerged as the most popular male artist of the 2010s. But across all industries, it's natural that the most popular person oh is always going to catch a degree of hate. Yet in recent years, it seems that the hate for Eminem has gone beyond being too cool to admit to being a fan and veered into disrespect. Okay. Now, hip hop's perception of M has mutated to the point where he's now as discredited as he is celebrated. Uh, somebody said right now, Eminem is the king of rap. Why would you say he's not? You got to come with a better name. I ain't playing Eminem in my car. You playing me yours? You slime. That's what I'm saying. Even Gucci Man is better than Eminem. But the, like, I do not understand. Yes, I get the whole, he, Eminem is the Taylor Swift of hip hop. That's what Eminem is. He's good, but you can't compare Taylor Swift to Nina Simone and all of these. Like, we have to stop it, guys. We have to. Burger King spitting on you. <laughs> that hurt a lot, I guess. I really should learn to watch my step before I go turn and walk directly into the corner of my office desk. Who placed this here? Whoever place this here, I think your face is weird. I hate this mirror. We're gonna burn the game speaking on you. Oh, that hurt a lot. He's trash. He is, I have to say, like, honestly, he is garbage. He is trash. Around playing Eminem in your car, you and your old lady? For starters, we have the plain and simple facts of his success. When you're on top for as long as M has been, there's only one place to go. Let's not forget that M began as a counterculture figure, brazenly knocking down doors and thumbing his nose at every attempt at censorship. But now, he's an artist who's more likely to launch an NFT collection, sell spaghetti from his own gimmick restaurant, and produce music for a Marvel movie franchise. Now, it isn't entirely fair to say that Eminem has had it easy. After all, he's faced an uphill battle from the start of his career. Kay. Back then, hip-hop media hated Eminem. The source infamously refused to award him with more than four mics for any album, while XXL took aim at him with a scathing cover story in 1999 entitled Message to the White Man. But over time, M would overcome these hurdles through sheer talent. And as his flair for wordplay and eccentric persona penetrated middle America, he became the all-conquering man that retired in 2006 with Curtain Call. At that point, had he chosen to truly ride off into the sunset, M would have had a fairy tale ending like an Andre 3000. But obviously, M didn't do this. And as he stubbornly continues to drop music even as he approaches 50, it seems like things are primed to get worse before they get better. Make no mistake, the primary guidelines for where M can be disrespected have been established for a long time. And in many ways, the most concise way of explaining them came from the unlikely source of Jermaine Dupri, in which he discussed the fact that M was more likely to beef with pop stars like Britney Spears and Mariah Carey than his peers. Oh yeah, Eminem, I left you out deliberately, he said on JD's reply. You know why? Cause to me you like a character in Disney World, mm. known for dissing pop groups and Justin's ex-girl. Don't nobody take you serious. But if you were really trying to pinpoint where it all went wrong. And I also have to say this as well, right? Drake went against one of the best rappers alive today, and that's Kendrick. Who has Eminem battled? He did not even want to smoke with Joe Budden. And Joe Budden would eat Eminem alive in a rap battle. He would. The revival era is where the disrespect truly began. An album that was received poorly by everyone aside from his stands, the socially conscious record, which featured the likes of Ed Sheeran and Pink, accomplished the opposite of what M intended. Rather than being any sort of resurgence, it actually proved mm. that he was no longer the young, hungry voice of a generation, but a 40-year-old bemoaning issues in a way that the culture wasn't looking for, and it made him seem out of touch. The BET Freestyle Cypher, mm. love the message. I love to see a white person using their privilege to combat prejudice, but yes. your bars was super sub yeah. It was a reach. <laughs> Donald Trump, like, okay, hey, yeah, white boy, wilding out on Trump, we love that. That act wore thin fast. Oh, he yeah. he even said that on Wookie. He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. I was mad he didn't I was respond. disappointed. So that lets me know you weren't doing it because you honestly were trying to use your privilege to combat prejudice. You were just trying to get Trump to respond to you. Everything he was doing now felt try hard. But where the songs themselves were an issue, what proved to be even more of a roadblock was how he handled the negative reception to the album. In some ways, the moment that B-Rabbit lists all of his flaws and insecurities to prevent Papa Doc from mocking him in 8 Mile used to be the case of art imitating life. Never afraid to poke fun at himself or make light of his turbulent upbringing, M's early material saw him switch up tones from aggressive to sarcastic and comical. But now, it seems as though something switched up, and instead of being unfazed by being the butt of the joke, he now exhibits his emotions on full display. With Kamikaze, the follow-up. 
you know what Eminem is? Eminem is just like Drake in a sense. Drake is the guy which never got accepted into hip hop, like fully accepted. He's always been, you know, the outside kid from the outside looking in. That is Eminem. So he's trying to be like super hip hop. Um, I gotta be lyrical and the miracle and, and the like, stop. You don't have to do that much. It's like when you're hanging out with a girl, don't try too hard. Just be yourself. Just be calm, cool, collected. That's it. He's the guy which is trying, I gotta take you out to Paris and I gotta fly you out. Like, no, just, you don't have to do all of that. If she likes you, she likes you. If she doesn't, there's nothing you can do about it. Honestly, if Eminem just was good at what he did and did not try that hard, I think he would come way further. It's the fact that he's doing all of these gimmicks with like Candace Owens. Candace is a part of the culture. You can't take Candace from us. So it's like, you don't understand that you're black. That Candace is us. Whether you like it or not, Candace and Kanye, those are black people. You can't take away a blackness from Candace. I think that that's stupid. So at the end of the day, you just gotta stop trying that hard, M. The revival, M made a whole record as a response to the notion that he'd fallen off. The album featured Eminem taking aim at everything with more spite and less humor than ever before, signifying that the impenetrable force field around him was down. Maybe because it doesn't sound like everything else and, and, and what most people are doing, maybe that was what tainted their ear. I remember a time <sighs> in hip hop where you had to be so different from the next person or you were trash. There's a shift uh, somewhere that happened that if it doesn't sound like everything else, then it's trash automatically. Suddenly vulnerable rather than... So it's trash because it's trash, not because it doesn't sound like everything else. You can be hot and sound like everybody else. Take Rima as an example. He doesn't sound like anybody else, but it's still hot. It's still fire. It's if you connect with us or not. We made you Eminem. We put you where you are, us black people. Now the whites have to be behind you because you became mainstream, right? And when we decide, no, we're not interested, then we're not interested. In his position as a legend, the world collectively acknowledged the fact that his sense of invincibility was gone. And before long, everyone was taking their shot. I, I'm not impressed by that because right. anybody can at this point mumble. can memorize a bunch of fast words. Machine Gun Kelly can do that. This sounds like a really whack rapper mm -hmm. that's like in his mid 50s trying to do an Eminem impression mm -hmm. with a whole bunch of dad jokes. Like this is dad joke rap. Mm. I don't know what album y'all heard. I heard a that knows it's over. I heard a that's fully aware that he has not said mm. for about a decade now. Mm. Stop just throwing names out and thinking that that's gonna be a single because you said True. a bunch of names. You ain't said find another muse, pull from somewhere else. You superstar been sheltered and bored. MGK is right. Y'all been <laughs> slaves to your own superstardom. You don't know about M. You don't know that it's probably three on the label that are better than you. While he ignored Gucci and never responded to Button's valid questions, M would once again dedicate time to battling lesser MCs and the likes of MGK. Because it's easier to battle MGK than it is to battle a real MC. It's easier. This is what I think, and I'm gonna end the video with this. First of all, the reason why Eminem was so appealing to me as a child when I did not know any better. The reason why he was so appealing is because it was simple, it was easy to understand. I'm a person that is going through something. It's, that's a very easy storyline, right? Everything was simple. But tonight I'm cleaning up my closet. It was like simple. But then he, for some reason, got it in his head that because it's two different things, right? And I think Drake and Eminem, they kind of like following the same shadow. He's like this niche artist and people are looking at him like, who's this guy? People are very, very interested in him. But he has more pop songs than kind of like, like rapidly rap songs. So when these pop songs are exploding and becoming these like super 
big hits, right? Then he's also starting to think like, you know what? I'm actually a good rapper. So then he starts to rap and because all of these songs that he has released, these huge pop songs, they're so big. They're so big. So people are like, yeah, I heard him do that pop song. Now he's rapping. People are so interested and invested in his music, right? So they let a lot slide. But they're not really thinking, hey, is this actually good? Is this good rapping or is it? are we just a prison of the moment? Look at me camping. Yeah, camping on a camping trip. Where are the bathrooms? Because earlier when I had to shit, I had to go off path a bit, do what I had to, then had to rip a leaf from a branch and act as if it was toilet paper and I had to wipe my ass with it. Who the f***, venom mosquitoes? Whoever thought mosquitoes should in fact exist should get tossed in a massive pit of cactuses. I wish I had a stick and a fire. Cause then I'd have graham crackers with marshmallows and shattered bits of chocolate jammed in it. I should catch a fish. Shut up! Seriously! <laughs> this is why we never invite you camping. You got baby wipes, man. Get out of here. I'm on a camping trip. <laughs> oh. 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 I hate all you guys. <laughs> why would you throw that at me? Look at me camping. Yeah, camping on a camping trip. Where are the bathrooms? You guys can leave it in the comment section as much as you want, and you guys can be like, Eminem is the greatest. Eminem is one of the best. I love Eminem. That's great, but black people do not listen to Eminem. I can I can I can say that for a fact. There's nobody which bumps Eminem in their car. If you're black, Eminem is trash. I've never sat with a black person and that person has said, oh my God, Eminem is one of the greatest, one of the greatest rappers, come on. But with that, the conversation of Eminem being one of the greatest is now done. I never want to hear this conversation again. Eminem isn't one of the greatest. Those are just the facts. But anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. -os.